how are you? Shall we study、uh, Bible together?、Uh, now, before、uh, we are going to study the Bible, I, gotta, I have a little announcement.、Uh, the September 22nd, Um, about two weeks from now, at,、uh, I'm taking vacation. So that week, I don't have a, a YouTube video. So I just want to let you know that、uh, next week I'll still be here in Japan and、uh, I'm going to、uh, make a mess,、uh, video right after that. But、uh, the following week,、uh, September 22nd, I will not be here. So there will be no、uh, video. Uh, the message in the YouTube. So I just want to let you know. But okay,、uh, shall we study the Bible together?、Uh, now, uh, as you know,、uh, we will study、uh, Jesus' ministry in、uh, chronological order. And、uh, now it's close to the end of his ministry.、Uh, within about a、uh, week or two,、uh, he's going to the,、uh, Jerusalem. And uh, uh, now, he, right now,、uh, last week we studied that he was at the town called Jericho. And at the Jericho, he received、uh, the news、uh, that his very, very close friend,、uh, Lazarus,、uh, is in a critical condition. He's about dying. And uh, so uh, Jesus went,、uh, Jesus now going to the Bethany where the Lazarus uh, uh, is. And so today we're going to study the,、uh, what, what happened、uh, the, after Jesus arrived at the Bethany. And the Bible we're going to take a look at today is from the John chapter 11,、uh, verse 17 to 45. So if you have a Bible,、uh, please open your Bible to John chapter 11,、uh, verse 17. Uh, shall we read the Bible together? When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had been in the tomb for、uh, tomb four days、uh, already. Now, Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, so many of the Jewish people of the region had come to Martha and Mary to console them over the loss of their brother. Uh, uh, the, when the Jesus arrived in Bethany, the situation was that、uh, the Lazarus was already、uh, dead for four days, and,、uh, which means his video started to kind of decay already. And uh, uh, the, his sister,、uh, Martha and Mary, they're both really uh, uh, sad and crying. And、uh, there's a lot of Jewish people、uh, came. Uh, from Jerusalem and the surrounding area. Now, the, the Bethany is only、uh, two miles away from Jerusalem. Actually, really, uh, really uh, in a sense, like a part of Jerusalem. And、uh, so, the many people around that area、uh, came to uh, comfort uh, Mary and Martha. And、uh, that was the situation. So, lots of people are sad. Now, these Jewish people who came from the Jerusalem, they, they may possibly be the same Jewish people、uh, welcome Jesus to enter to the Jerusalem in about、uh, a week and a half or so from now.、Uh, the Jesus going to Jerusalem, they,、uh, lots of people will、uh, shout and say, Hosanna, Hosanna. And maybe the same group of people too. But either way, Uh, the, that was the situation、uh, when Jesus arrived in Bethany. And so, what happened after this?、Uh, let's read. In a, a start from verse 20. So, when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary was sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will grant you.、Uh, what happened was when Jesus now approaching to the Bethany, the,、uh, the Martha and the Mary they both heard that Jesus is coming. And、uh, somehow Mary、uh, stayed home, but the Martha went out and uh, uh, then greeted Jesus. And so the Martha.、Uh, Met Jesus probably a little bit outside of、uh, Bethany and then said to Jesus,、uh, Oh Lord,、um, you know, if you are here, then my brother Lazarus could、uh, you know, not have to die. And because,、uh, she said, like, because you are, you, you, because you pray to God, that God the Father will grant you everything.、Um, now, I can see the Martha has a, such a Uh, well, I, I know that Martha and Mary, they're both very sad. And、uh, in this case, Martha, I feel like he, she's so regret that、uh, Jesus wasn't there. And、uh, if Jesus was there、uh, the time that Lazarus, before Lazarus died,、uh, he probably didn't have to die. 
because uh, Martha knew that Jesus is uh, can do a lot of miracle. Um, you know, probably she also regret that she maybe didn't tell Jesus earlier, and so on. Uh, you know, and then Jesus, uh, Martha has such a strong faith uh, on Jesus. But then at the same time, I can tell the Martha uh, felt that uh, the death is the end of the Lazarus, and then there's no more hope. And uh, she was so sad because there's no hope there. Uh, but then after this, uh, Jesus uh, answered Mary uh, very, very how I say strange or amazing uh, uh, reply he gave to Martha after this. Uh, let's read verse 23. Jesus replied, Your brother will come back to life again. Martha said, I know that he will come back to life again in the resurrection at the last day. Now, what's surprising is uh, Jesus told Martha who are totally disappointed uh, and no hope. Uh, she's so sad. And um, then Jesus told Martha, hey Martha, uh, Lazarus will uh, come up, come back, I mean come back to life again. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big, that's a surprise statement, you know. I mean, uh, he, he's dead for four days. But then uh, Jesus told Martha, oh, hey uh, Martha, he'll come back to life again. And uh, then Martha said, uh, she said, that, yes, I know, uh, but then the resurrection will happen at the last day. Now, what Martha is saying is that there is an a Old Testament a prophecy that when the Messiah comes, that, uh, that he will establish a new kingdom and all the uh, present world will uh, disappear and uh, end it. And so the, when the world ended, there are many, many righteous people will, uh, uh, all the righteous people will resurrect and then going to enter to the uh, kingdom uh, uh, and, uh, together with the Messiah. So uh, that's a belief. The Jewish people had a very strong hope in the coming Messiah. And uh, Mary mentioned that, uh, the prophecy of the Old Testament. Now, after this, Jesus even kind of elaborated what he was saying. Uh, in a, a very surprising statement after this, in a verse uh, 25, let me read that. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even if he died. And the one who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She replied, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God who comes into the world. Wow, the statement Jesus made is very, very amazing. He said, I am the resurrection and life. What does it mean? I am the resurrection and life. That's what Jesus said. And Jesus said, very surprising, he said, If you believe, uh, you, I mean, you won't die. Well, I mean, even you die, you you come back again. You you even you die, you you, you live. And uh, if you believe, uh, you know, if you 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 will never die. And then Jesus said to Mary, "Do you believe it? Believe that?" Now, what Jesus meant about believe? What what supposed do you believe? I mean, do you believe? I mean, whom do you supposed to believe? The verse twenty five and twenty six very clearly state that. Jesus said, if you believe in me, which means if you believe in Jesus, you will never die. And if you die, you come back. I mean, you're going you, you, to resurrect. You, 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 and if, you, if you're living and if you believe Jesus, uh, if you believe in Jesus, you will never die. And Jesus told Martha, do you believe it? And Martha said, yes. <laughs> That's another surprise. And Martha state that who Jesus is. Martha said, you are the Christ, the Son of God. The, uh, you, you are the coming uh, uh, Christ. Now, the word Christ means uh, 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 the one who has been anointed, uh, which same meaning in Hebrew means Messiah. And Messiah and the Christ is actually uh, both meaning of the uh, anointed one. 
and um, which means is a messiah, which means a savior. And so the uh, Martha acknowledged that Jesus is a savior, the messiah. They have been waiting for all this time. The, the one going to establish the kingdom and they're going to end the uh, uh, current world and lots of people are going to resurrect. Uh, so, well, that's, so who, that's who Jesus is. Jesus is absolutely uh, Messiah, Savior, Son of God, and also from the Old Testament, if you carefully read, the Messiah is the Jehovah himself. I mean himself. And uh, the, the Messiah, the God, the Son of God, is Jesus who he is. And anointed ones, the uh, uh, you know, high priest and the king, um, is here. And then that's what the Martha mentioned about Jesus. And Jesus said, if you believe in me, you will never die. Um, we've got to understand that Jesus is God, but at the same time, he is the Lord of resurrections. We've got to believe his resurrection as well, because he is uh, Messiah. And then, uh, after this, what happens? And when she had said this, Martha went and called her sister Mary, saying privately, The teacher is here and is asking for you. So when Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still in the place where Martha had come out to meet him. Then the people who were with Mary in the house consulting her saw her get up quickly and go out. They followed her because they thought she was going to tomb to weep there. Uh, what's interesting things is uh, after that the master went back to the house and uh, uh, told Mary, hey Mary, uh, the Jesus is just outside of town. And then, uh, you know, uh, calling you. And then Mary stood up and went. Uh, the question is, why Mary's a house? I mean, Mary could then go out together with uh, uh, Martha and greet Jesus, isn't it? But Martha, uh, Mary is home. But the most kind of a, a strange part is that why Jesus stay outside of a village? Why Jesus didn't go into the village and uh, went to uh, the house where the Mary is and say, Hi Mary, uh, are you okay? You know, I mean, Jesus could have done that. I mean, Jesus, why Jesus stay outside? And Jesus asked Mary to come to him instead. And, um, and then also very strange, very peculiar is that when the mother went to uh, Mary in the house and uh, told Mary very privately, very secretly, uh, why, why that? Why, it sounds like uh, um, Martha telling Mary was a very, very quietly say, Hey, Mary, uh, the uh, Jesus is waiting for you outside. Why, why that? Why, why just not normal voice? Um, now all this, we really don't know every answer for that question. Maybe, but and uh, one thing I can speculate is uh, Mary. And Martha has a very, very different personality, I would say. And uh, probably the Martha is a very realistic woman. And uh, versus Mary is a very emotional person. And in case of a Mary, she couldn't take that. Uh, she was shocked. She really crying and she couldn't even move from the house, maybe. And uh, Jesus uh, is approaching to Mary that, hey, I know you're sad, but you, sh you should sit up and uh, uh, walk close to Jesus instead. It sounds like, but I'm not sure. But either way, uh, the Jesus asked Mary uh, to come to him. And then, the, uh, the, then all the Jewish people surrounded Mary. Uh, they came together with Jesus, uh, together with Mary, and met the Jesus. Now, let's see what happened after this uh, in the verse 32. Now, when Mary came to the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the people who had come with her weeping, she was intensely moved in the spirit and great, greatly depressed and uh, distressed. And he asked, where have you laid him? They replied, 
Lord come and see. Jesus wept. Um, now, what happened here in uh, when the Mary came to meet Jesus outside the village, uh, Mary started to cry and at, at his feet. And then Mary said to Jesus the exactly same things that Martha said earlier. Oh Lord, if you are here, my brother Lazarus uh, would have not died. Uh, <laughs> but interesting things is that Jesus uh, uh, reply uh, is very different from the time of Martha and Mary. At the time of Martha, Jesus simply said that when the Martha said, Oh, if you're here, my brother didn't die. The, uh, Jesus said, Oh, the Lazarus will come back. And, uh, you know, I'm a resurrection in life. See, Martha is a very realistic private person. She is somehow accepting. Uh, she can seem to accept the brother's uh, uh, death. And she's kind of move on, you know. And uh, she's a very strong personality that Martha is. Uh, versus Mary is another type of uh, female that uh, she's so emotional. She's very sad. When she met Jesus, she just keep crying at his feet. And uh, uh, Mary, oh, somehow Mary is always kind of attached to Jesus' feet. But, by the way, Mary is crying so much. And then Jesus, instead of uh, telling her uh, much, Jesus started crying too. Jesus becomes so emotional. And uh, he was kind of angry about the whole things and the death. And he was so moved. And uh, he was so uh, distressed. And uh, he, he started to cry. Uh, he didn't say much to uh, uh, Mary. Uh, now, w we can see, one thing we have to understand who Jesus is. See, if we believe in Jesus, we have eternal life. We understand that, but then we have to understand who Jesus is clearly. Jesus is, He is Messiah, He is God, He is the Son of God, uh, He is a Savior, yes. But at the same time, Jesus is 100% man. Now, that concept that He's truly God and he's a truly man we have to nail this down uh, some people say how that can possible uh, that's called sometimes called the hypothetical unions but in the Jesus is and this is very important for us to understand uh, the I miss mean, Trinity of who Jesus is and this is a really the foundation of our Christian uh, 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 doctrines I would say uh, without understanding the Jesus deity at the same time his humanity uh, that we really cannot understand the significance of his death on the cross and uh, uh, the, his saving work on the cross. He is indeed God and Jehovah. He is 100% uh, deity. However, at the same time, he's 100% human as we are, the man. And because of that, he can understand our sadness. He, he cried. And uh, he, he cried like we are, because he is us. He is human, and he's, I mean, he's, 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 he's man. And uh, he, 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 he can be both, he can both uh, 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 understand the, uh, like a Martha and Mary type of persons. Um, for a Martha type of person, he can be, uh, he can tell the doctrines, he can tell the, the uh, theology, he said that uh, he's the resurrections and life, and uh, he said, uh, you know, but then the person like Mary, who are so emotional, uh, he can be very soft, he can be emotional as well, because he is not only God, but he's human, he's a man, he understands our uh, weakness, uh, Jesus understands your uh, tear. Jesus understand. Jesus actually cry with you. Jesus just cry as another human uh, beings. That uh, you know your sadness is his sadness, and uh, Jesus as God very upset about whole things about death because for human the death is absolutely sad, sad things. This is the the end for us, and no human able to uh, 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 come up. Now, I know there's a lot, lots of religion in the world, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying other regions, uh, you know, which region is better in the world, so I'm not saying that, that that's, that's not meant. But uh, one thing is for sure, that Christianity is absolutely unique religions, because our religion is based on Jesus' resurrections. And uh, all other religions, as far as I know, 
the founder of the religions must be that person was a very very uh, uh, holy person. I think that he he or she must say lots lots nice things, and that's why so many people believe in that person. However, all the founder of the other religions, as far as I know, they died and didn't come back. Um, they might say, you know, oh, let's make it that he or she, you know, resurrected. But it, the fact is, it's not. That's why um, they cannot fake it. Uh, in case of Christianity, it's very, very different. Christianity is after Jesus uh, resurrected, uh, the thousands of people I witnessed there, and uh, uh, thousands and thousands of people, maybe tens of thousands of people, uh, die for that sake. Um, the twelve disciples die such a horrible death in a uh, martyr, but in the being martyred, but in the uh, they believed in the, his resurrection. They I witnessed uh, his resurrection, and not only twelve disciples, uh, thousands, maybe tens of thousands of early Christians, they die for that sake. And the Christianity start with the the strong evidence and belief that Jesus Christ resurrected, and lots of eyewitnesses saw that. That is our religions. Uh, then Jesus himself claimed that, hey, I am the resurrection and life. The questions are, do you believe it? If you believe in Jesus, his resurrection, his deity, and his humanity, then you have eternal life. Now, um, now what happened after this, in verse 36, that's the people who had come to mourn said, look how much he loved him. But some of them said, This is a man who caused the blind man to see. Couldn't he have done something to keep Lazarus from dying? Uh, now, do you remember the lot of Jewish people uh, came together? And they maybe, many of them came from Jerusalem. Uh, and uh, these people uh, said about Jesus, Oh, Jesus is so sad about the, uh, Lazarus' death. But then uh, he opened the blind man's eye, and as a fact, uh, he just just uh, not long long time ago, he opened the blind man's uh, uh, Bartimaeus at uh, uh, Jericho, and Bartimaeus was maybe among them there, and Bartimaeus followed Jesus, and then the, the used to be a blind man just standing there, and then the, they saw, hey, Jesus opened the, uh, that guy's eyes, but. Yeah, he's a miracle worker, but then he cannot go over the death. Death is a final. No human can, uh, uh, you know, make people alive. And so they, they say, uh, well, Jesus, we know Jesus has lots of power, and he's great, but then he couldn't maybe raise Lazarus. Now, probably the same people who went to the Jerusalem later, and when Jesus went up on the cross, uh, probably it's the same people, same Jewish people said, "Hey, Jesus, he now he resurrected Lazarus. He resurrected lots of uh, dead people. Now, can he resurrect himself? He couldn't. Res See, the death to human being is a really, really final. We have a strong belief somewhere that no human can go over the death. If you die, that's it." So we had to make another excuse. What happened after that? That that. But then, Jesus strongly deny that is not the end because Jesus said I am the resurrection I am the life do you believe it there is a there is a power over the death very hard for the Jewish people at that time to believe Jesus have a power over the death and but here sure enough he re demonstrated uh, uh, from his resurrection now after this let's see in the verse 38 Jesus intensely moved again came to the tomb now it was a cave, and the stone was placed across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the deceased, uh, replied, Lord, by this time the body will have a bad smell, because he had been buried for uh, four days. Jesus, Jesus responded, uh, Don't I tell you, uh, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Now, what's interesting is uh, uh, Jesus uh, came to the Lazarus tomb, and he he ordered, said, uh, remove the uh, uh, stone, the covering, the cave. Uh, in the back then, uh, in the Jerusalem area, uh, after people died, 
and this is the same at the time of Jesus' burial, uh, they put the dead body in, uh, inside of a cave, and they put a big huge rock in the front of it. And uh, Jesus said, uh, remove the rock, and, uh, but then Martha, uh, who are very realistic, who are very, uh, how I say, active, uh, who can take sadness, is a more tougher woman type of uh, person. Uh, the Martha said, oh Lord, uh, Lazarus dead for four days, he's rotten there. <laughs> Maybe bad smell. <laughs> she, Martha worry about the bad smell stuff. And then, uh, you know, uh, that alone tells what the Martha's personality uh, very different from Mary's personality. And, uh, you know, uh, then Jesus told Martha, Martha, come on, didn't I tell you? If you believe the resurrection, if you believe, I told you that you will see the, uh, God's glory. And uh, that was the conversation. It's a very interesting conversation. Now, what happened after this? Uh, the verse 41. So, they took away the stone. Jesus looked upwards and said, Father, I thank you that you have listened to me. I know that you always listen to me, but I said this for the sake of the crowd standing around here, that they may believe that you sent me. Now, we now we find out what is the source of Jesus' miracle. That is the prayer. Jesus prayed to Father God, and uh, He clearly stayed here saying, If I pray, you will listen. You will do it. And I knew it. And then Jesus said, thank you, Father, you, you, you answer my prayer, because I know what I, I, I pray you do. Now, you got to understand this, the clearly Bible state, clearly Bible state, if you pray, that God will fulfill your prayer, God will listen to your prayer. If you pray, the three things will happen, that one thing is uh, your prayer will fulfill right away. And the second thing is, uh, your prayer will fulfill, right? Uh, but then you, you have to wait because God's timing is perfect. God's timing is more than our timing, uh, much greater than our timing. See, we human, uh, we are we are fine. We, we we don't know everything, but God knows everything. God is omniscience, uh, omnipotence. He knows everything. So this God knows when is the best timing to fulfill our prayer. And the last thing is He actually do much better than what we pray. So all our prayer is fulfilled. The last thing is that the way He does much, much better, much greater things than the, what we pray is actually what He, he's, he according to you know, His will is much greater. Whatever He decides is much better than what we can think of. See, we humans don't understand the whole things. And uh, we, 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 have a, we have a limit. And sometimes we feel like, oh, our prayer not being answered. But that's not true. Our, answer, our prayer is 100% answered. But to the, according to His will. And uh, if we pray according to His will, then that will be fulfilled. And He will do it. He will do a miracle. And, uh, uh, you know, you have to understand, our prayer be answered all the time. And Jesus said, I knew my prayer, will, you're going to answer 100% everything. And then Jesus thanked God. And then after this what happens in uh, uh, verse 43. When he has said this, he shouted in the loud voice, Lazarus, come out! The one who had died come out. His feet and hands uh, tied up with a strip of cloth and the cloth wrapped around his face. Jesus, Jesus said to them, unwrap him and let him go. Then many of the people who had come with Mary and had seen the things Jesus did believed in him. Uh, very interesting is that when Jesus uh, came to the tomb and now there are uh, several guys probably um, removed a uh, stone and Jesus shouted, say, Lazarus, come out! <laughs> and the Lazarus being wrapped around with the cloth. Now, do you understand? You have to understand. We have to understand that uh, where the Jesus is in the Palestine is not too far from is, uh, uh, Egypt. And uh, including that region, they had uh, some kind of uh, uh, tradition being uh, uh, mummifying people. And uh, in the Jesus' time, definitely, that when people die, 
they they anointed the body, they uh, cleaned the body with uh, uh, oil, and they they anointed with a uh, uh, nice smell, and also like uh, things like a frankincense and so on to 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 preserve. Uh, they 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 try to uh, stop uh, their body to decay, and then try to start from the bad smelling. They they put a some kind of perfume around. And uh, that was a really a, a preparation for burial. And they then they, they're gonna uh, wrap around with a cloth like uh, like Egyptian mummy. And in case of Lazarus, and the same as uh, Jesus was the same too. That when person died, uh, they put their uh, uh, somewhat mummified body into the uh, cave. And but then they knew that still that people will uh, rot. Uh, you know, you have to be a super rich to be totally mummified. Uh, you know, uh, but then uh, you know, like like Egyptian uh, king. But most of the people cannot afford that far. And but then they 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 wrap it around and they try to uh, start from decaying. But then you know, people gonna decay. So uh, Lazarus when he came out, Lazarus was being wrapped around. And he was just, maybe he was hopping out from the cave. And, and then, but anyway, so that's what happened. And uh, lots of people believe. Uh, Jesus by seeing the Lazarus. Uh, now the today's lesson is I think is uh, we have to understand that uh, death is a really sad things and Jesus has the power over death. Um, you know a few weeks ago I told you that, uh, that when Jesus opened the blind man's eyes uh, that if somebody asked, told you hey you're gonna be a blind uh, like tomorrow what do you feel? I mean, you probably devastated. But if same, but more than blindness, if somebody asks you, "Hey, you're gonna die uh, in a three days from now," how, can you cope with it? I mean, death is a very, very uh, that's that's a sad thing. And uh, um, especially, uh, have you experienced the uh, your uh, the death of your close uh, close uh, uh, relatives, a close one? Uh, you know, I, I know I mentioned many, many times in my message that uh, I had experience that my son died when he was 22 years old uh, in, a, in a hospital in the United States, and, in Los Angeles, by the way. And uh, when my son died at the uh, hospital in uh, Los Angeles, uh, that, uh, you know, he, he had a lot of pipe uh, from his mouth and nose, and uh, the doctor removed that right before he died. And then he, he lay on the bed. Uh, his sister and uh, uh, his mother uh, was there and they're crying. Uh, but uh, when my son died, I don't know, man, sometimes I don't know we're trained to not to cry from other people. I'm not sure, but um, especially being a Japanese man, I, 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 I left the, uh, uh, the room and where my uh, uh, son died on the bed. I left the room and I went in the hospital. Uh, in the hospital, there's a little in the corner of the hospital. There's a little uh, chair there, and um, I, uh, like, 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 I think like a waiting room. And uh, I sit there, and I just telling myself, keep telling myself, my son went to heaven, a much better place than where we are. And now my son is in God's hand and all that. I just keep praying. But then, as soon as I sit down the chair on the corner of the uh, hospital. My the tear gushed out from my eyes, and I couldn't stop it. I just keep crying, and uh, that's really the sadness. Um, and Jesus, he's totally divine and totally man. He understands our sadness. The Jesus cry with us, and um, uh, and God is also upset about our death, and uh, God. And Jesus so sad, so upset, become so emotional like we are about death of people. And uh, because of that, God loves us so much, that Jesus loves so much, and they are so upset about our death. They, Jesus himself came to uh, earth and then become a man. And God, God went up the cross. And took our, all our sin because because the death is really the result of a sin, and uh, he took our sins, and he went through all the suffering, and most of the most important part, he's resurrected three days and later, and because he's resurrected, now we have a hope. Uh, we have to understand that when we talk about believing Jesus, that means not only he died on the cross for our uh, sake. 
but also he resurrected and as as a resurrection resurrected badly uh, badly uh, the, with the body uh, and Jesus resurrected with the body we too going to resurrect it with a physical body uh, we're gonna have an eternal uh, a glorious body and um, uh, we're going to resurrect it and um, uh, physically we're going to resurrect it and so questions are do you believe it now let me read in uh, Roman chapter 10 verse 9 uh, let me read that part because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved now you have to understand that Jesus resurrected and if you believe his death on the cross and the resurrection of the Jesus Christ you'll be saved otherwise uh, the salvation is half-handed. I mean, you have to kind of, uh, well, of course, when you believe uh, uh, Jesus died for your sin, you, 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 you repent because you have to understand your sin. You repent and um, uh, Jesus died for your sin and then he resurrected. So now you have a hope. Uh, let me read at the first Peter chapter 1, 3 at the last uh, part of the Bible to read. Uh, let me read first Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By His great mercy, He gave us new birth into the living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from dead. Now, that is a very important. Without Jesus' resurrection, we don't have a hope. Without that 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 his statement he's saying he's a resurrection and life if you believe in me even you die you are alive even even you you will never die if you're alive I mean Jesus clearly said we have eternal life if you believe him his resurrections now questions are do you believe his resurrection this morning now uh, if you're not please do it's very simple he is a resurrection and life and if you believe that his deity and his humanity and his his resurrections that you have a hope without the resurrection we human cannot have any hope Jesus is the only one resurrected at first and after that he promised that all of us who believe in Jesus will resurrect at the last day when he come back again shall we pray father in, father in heaven thank you for today's message that and thank you that jesus died on the cross and resurrected that demonstrate that you have a power over death because you are really god you're the you're the one who gave the life and uh, uh, so we should believe in it in you lord and if there's people if people are not believing you yet please let them believe and show your glory to them. Lord, thank you for today's message. Just we pray. Amen. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.